Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end-time people for the end-time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens and First Lady Dr. Cynthia Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-644. 2949. Our email is nsjohn at com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we're compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. All right. Yes, you did. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Can I get a witness here? Okay. Okay. So that's why you're here. Eventually, eventually to end up with the fullness of God. Somebody got to do it. Do you want to be in the number? God wants to be able to refer to somebody and say, that's what I want. Hallelujah. I would surely like to be in that number. Hallelujah. All right. Did, did I did I get through with that? Did I get through? Did I get to change your focus? And that is the purpose of you coming here. All right. So I, I have to I have to adjust the preaching to perfect you. Hallelujah. And. In order to perfect you, Christ has to dwell in you. Are you in Christ. Uh, hallelujah. So I'll, I'll go back to Matthew, Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things. Do you know he's able? He, he, he'll take care of you. Yes, Notice carefully. Say all these things shall be added. Didn't mean he's going to charge you. They're going to be added. Thank you. Thank you. One of these days you're going to live eternity with God anyway. He's going to take care of you then. Is that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So did I get through with that? Did I? Did, did I? The purpose, your purpose, it purpose. I, 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 I can't, I, I can't make you learn your inner man. You have to do that on your own. Hallelujah. All right. But all I, my job is to tell you that is in there, and God is looking. For you to identify it. That's it, that's it. Not only to identify it, but to live after it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The only other option you have is to live after the flesh. And you know, and I know you read many times. In the flesh, you can't please God. And to, to, to live after the flesh is death. Now, God got to. Step out the way. When you reach the wages of sin. Did you hear what I said? God will not stop that. The wages of sin. So you bring in death to your own self. Just by living after these senses. Hallelujah. The Bible said. 
the just shall live. Am I right about it? Goes on to say that we walk by faith and not by sight. Did you really get the impact? We walk by faith and not by sight. Well, let's look at the kingdom of God then. Romans 14. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Hallelujah. Romans 14. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Do you think we ought to obey that? Hallelujah. You got Romans 14, verse 17. I, I know I'm being repetitive, but that's okay. Okay, we, we got to we got to make a new start. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you got you got you got Romans fourteen, verse seventeen. I I I know it's familiar, but uh, I, I want to make sure we're getting it. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, and peace and joy. And, and I mentioned that before. Where is it? So if there is no Holy Ghost, it says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness." Okay. And here he states the kingdom of God, the righteousness, and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. He starts off with righteousness. Righteousness, righteousness. Well, righteousness, righteousness, uh, righteousness. How do you get righteousness? How do you get righteousness? How do you get righteousness? Right. He said righteousness, is that right? Righteousness is on top, but I want you to notice also, I've said it before, but faith is not mentioned here. Faith is not mentioned, but faith is caught up in righteousness. All right, all right, all right, all right. Faith is caught up in righteousness, all right. When you have faith, you believe. Well, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let's, let's, let's read it, uh, Romans. Do you have that in your heart? Okay. The, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So the first objective is to, thank you, no Holy Ghost. Nothing. It all of these things are in. So you have to have the Holy Ghost first. If they're going to be in, and how can you have water and no bucket? Got to have a bucket first. Then you can put the water in. Okay. No Holy Ghost, you don't have nothing to put the joy and the peace and the righteousness in. That's why we've been teaching and preaching. Uh, listen, I, I can't lead you by the hand and, and, and coach you to get the Holy Ghost. That's something you have to do on your own. All right. And you know what the word said, you... You got to obey. He will give it to those that. Obey. Right. And you got to obey those that have the rule over you. 
Am I talking Bible? All right. I didn't make that up. You got to obey. God knows whether you're sincere or not. God knows if you want to obey. God knows if you're just playing games. Don't come in here and try to fool God. Do you really want God? Then you got to obey. All right. All right. If you don't obey, you can't get the Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost. No righteousness. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the first thing is you got to obey. Can I get a witness with that? Uh, what you got to obey? And obey those that. Hallelujah. And if you obey, God will. The Bible said, He will give you the Holy Ghost. He wants you to have the Holy Ghost. Y'all, y'all don't really want it. I, 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 I do. Hallelujah. So first of all, all right, am I setting the table? First of all, you got to have a heart that's willing to obey. Am I, uh, am I talking Bible? Uh, we, we've read that many times before. You got to obey. Uh, hallelujah. All right. Uh, uh, hallelujah. God wants to be able to point you with the fullness of God. To fulfill his word. Got to have somebody. Hallelujah. And you looking at? Can I get anybody to go with me? Yeah. All right. All right. Hallelujah. 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 If the Lord wants somebody. Here am I. You can count on me. Oh, y'all. Can I get a witness here? Say yes. Say. Hallelujah. All right. All right. As you see, righteousness is first on the list. Righteousness. Righteousness. And then how do you get righteousness? How do you get righteousness? But first of all, the, everything is in, in the Holy Ghost. So it's your responsibility to get the, uh, I shouldn't have to lead you. You've been in church 10 years. You, you should have been have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Uh, can I? Am I right about that? All right, hallelujah. All right. So, so we really can't move forward until you get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do Do I need to read? Do we need to read that in Acts? Or y'all Y'all know it already. All right, all right. All right, you got to have the Holy Ghost. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Uh, comparison, uh, it it is the container. Without the Holy Ghost, it nothing. You can't hold nothing. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. All right. So, but anyway, let me move on a little further with righteousness. Romans three. Oh yeah. But did I did I? Leave that impression on you. Number one, you have to get the Holy Ghost. 
and God will give it to you if your heart is an obedient heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, all right. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Okay, did, did I did, did I get through with that? So that's not my responsibility. My responsibility is doing what I'm doing. Telling you. You got to to get it, you got to obey. Got to obey. No getting around it. Obey those that have the rule over you. I'm telling you the word and you you got to obey it. You walk out of here and forget it. You never get the Holy Ghost. And therefore, when you stand before God, thank you. Thank you. Your salvation depends on you getting the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. Okay, now y'all can play with that if you want to. All right. Did you hear what I just said? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't care what else you do. If you do not have the Holy Ghost, you're not in right standing with God. I don't care what you do in here. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right, all right, okay, all right, okay, did I get through with that? All right, okay. Nothing else will happen in your life until you get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And the only way you're going to get it, I know I'm being repetitive, only way you're going to get it, you have to obey. have to obey what I'm giving you, the word. You have to obey you have to learn how to love each other you, you, you have to go down that that the chapter in first Corinthians 13 you have to go down that chapter and I mean learn that don't try to fool God you, you better know how to love all right all right okay okay all right all right, uh, I'll just uh, touch on righteousness. You have uh, Romans 3. Amen. Mm. Amen. All right. All right. You got Romans 3? Got it. Okay, verse, verse 22. Got it. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto what? And upon all that them that what? Believe. For there is no difference. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have to have faith of Jesus Christ. Is that what he said? Let's read it again. Even the righteousness of God. That's what we have to have. Is that right? Righteousness of God. Righteousness, which you can't move God until you get righteousness. Righteousness. All right. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ. So you have to have faith in Jesus Christ. And to have faith in Jesus Christ, you have to obey what he said. He said, you got to have the Holy Ghost. All right. So you got to obey him. Otherwise, you're not in Christ. All right. Let's read it again. Even the righteousness of God. That's what we got to have. Is that right? Righteousness of God. Which is by faith of Jesus Christ. Unto all and upon all them that what believe, for there is no difference. All right, you have to obey and believe what Jesus Christ has said. That's the only way. 
You're going to dwell in Christ. Or Christ in you. Only righteousness move God. And, and when you get Christ in you. God has put grace in Jesus Christ. And there's a mixture of grace and faith. And when you mix grace and faith, what are you coming up with? Then God will move in your life. Oh. Hallelujah. Whatever you ask. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to say that again. Righteousness. You have to believe what Jesus Christ has said and done. That's the only way he's going to dwell in you. Or you in him. Only way you have to. This word I'm talking about now. You can't build up a resistance. You have to obey. You got to obey. 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 And when you. Faith only takes you into. Thank you. Into Jesus Christ. That's where faith will take you. And when faith gets in. You, when you get in Jesus. Now all this word that I'm talking about. All that's doing is. Taking you into Jesus Christ. And God. Has given you a gift. A gift of grace. And that gift of grace. Is already waiting for you. In Christ. Y'all heard what I just said. Uh, grace is waiting for you. In Jesus Christ. And when you. Obey what Jesus Christ. Has said and done. Grace and the word. Faith. Grace and faith will unite. And there you have righteousness. Then that move God. Whatever you ask. When I, I just gave you a recipe right there. Whatever you ask. God will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. That's a, to me. That's a that's that's a check already signed. Already signed. Hallelujah. I I, I don't care what they say. I I, I know if, if God doesn't intervene, cancer is a killer. But God can overcome cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, heaven hears me now. Yeah. With God all things. It's your job. To have the faith. And get into Christ. Hallelujah. Then God will add grace. Grace is a free gift. God wanted said. He's a gift giver. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will add grace. And then that's righteousness. Whatever you ask. Y'all heard what I just said? Now, now, now listen. He said, I don't care what it is. If you asked it, he'll give it to you. 
I don't care if you want a new house. If you ask them, he'll, he'll give it to you. Now, now, isn't that whatever? Yeah. I, I, I don't promote cars and all those other things, but you need a car. If you ask the car, will he give it to you? Yes, he will. Y'all don't believe me. Hallelujah. Okay. Did, did, I, did I tell you how that's done? Okay. First of all, you have to have faith. Have to have faith. Faith is believing what Christ has said and done. You have to believe it. You have to obey it. You have to. And that will get you into Christ. Now, now uh, I'll be back. No, uh, I'll be back. Now. This is not the end of it. Th those, these, those that are sincere, we're, we're going together. All right, all right. If you can just hold on, the sick will be healed. I said, if you can just hold on, those that need a way, a way will be made. Hallelujah. God is able. I said, God is able. <laughs> but you need to start today. Start today. Number one, preparing to get the Holy Ghost. I, I mean, I, I don't care where you are, where you go, or where you live. I don't care what you do. Number one, you've got to have. That's what your Bible said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my suggestion to you, don't listen to nobody who will not preach the Holy Ghost. You better get some Holy Ghost. Did I convince you of that? You better get some Holy Ghost. That inner man got to be alive. And that's what God is expecting you to live after. That inner man. Not this outer man. Not the flesh. Not the senses. Not the senses. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Faith. You got to have faith. That's your part. You got to have faith. You got to believe what Jesus Christ has said and done. You got to obey that. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You got to obey that. I don't 